Hey everybody, it's me again, and guess what? We're in my kitchen. I am going to attempt to tea dye some paper for the book that I was working on. Now, I um, I cut these pages to ten and a half by seven because that's how big I wanted them to be. Of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna fold them over. This is just regular regular old um, printer paper. What, if, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay them on this on these cookie sheets. I, I don't know if I'll get them off because I have five. And what I did with yeah, my cookie sheets, don't everybody's cookie sheets just get all nasty and everything? So I know that Sharon at Kashaz Designs, she baked some of her paper. I'm not going to be able to get them all on there. But I'm at least going to be able to get four. I want five because I wanted ten pages. So, I know she baked hers, but I think she set it on fire, too. Um, I'm going to mix some just tea. Now, this is a spray bottle with tea in it. It's tea and bronze metallic paint, and just barely, I mean barely, just like dripping off of a popsicle stick or a craft stick, barely a little bit of Mod Podge in there to make it stick to the paper. Well, today I don't need it to stick because I want to saturate the paper. And so I have some of these little bottles that you get at Walmart for like 90, 97 cents. So what I've done is I've taken my measuring cup and I've put two tea bags in one cup of water. Actually, it turned out to be a little over a cup of water. And or it's like approximately, what, 237 milliliters for internationals or about 250 milliliters, I think is what my cup says. I just left them in there and they've just been steeping in one cup. So what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mess, what I'm going to do. Alright, and I don't, I don't mind showing you this part of my kitchen, because this actually really isn't too bad. Sue has seen, Sue, Scrap Lady 530, she's seen my kitchen, so she knows what it looks like. I'm all set for Halloween when it comes to scary kitchens. I'm the lily monster of the kitchens, I'm telling you, it's like... Okay, like I said, I'm going to attempt to pour some of this in here. Why don't I just let you see my disaster movie? Okay. Don't need very much. But I, I wanted to see if this was the right, going to be the right color. I didn't really know how much I would, how, you know, how much I was going to need. So, uh, I haven't done anything to the book except cover it with Mod Podge. And I'll show you that if I do another video. I'm getting some feedback, which is good. Okay. I'm getting some feedback. Some lady said double the boxes to make it thicker, but I have heavy chipboard, so I really didn't need to do that. I kind of like the flexibility of it. Okay. Um, okay, my nasty cookie sheets covered with plastic wrap. I figured it was cheaper than aluminum foil because it was like, you know, like 250 feet for $1.19 on the manager special. Okay, there's my tea. Okay. I'm not sure how anybody else does this. I don't think it's going to be dark enough. So somebody should have told me that. I don't think it's going to be dark enough. Well, that's why I'm doing the video. I'm, I'm, I'm making the mistake for you. I don't think it's going to be dark enough. I mean, and it's, and I wanted it to wrinkle. You know, when it dries, I want it to wrinkle. I want it to look kind of old. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do these because it may get a little darker when it dries. I guess I'm going to do them both. It's in my nasty cookie sheets. I love this big cookie sheet. I haven't been able to find one this big again. But, okay, I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to let that dry. Get it, i got to get it really good and wet, though. For the cup, if it, if it is going to color, it's going to set through. Oh, okay, it's darkening it up a little bit. I may need to put another tea bag in. And to be honest, it was cheap tea. It wasn't like it was Red Rose or anything. Or what is it, Bigelow or Twinnings? <laughs> so we're gonna, we're just gonna let that sit and uh, and dry, and I'll come back with another one and let you know how it turned out. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.